This is news uh, about a Muslim fringe group saying that the former president, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, is not a Muslim. In fact, they say that his name might have been Abdul Kalam, but he was never a serious Muslim, alleging that Abdul Kalam, uh, in fact, idol worship, insulting, in fact, the former president, the fringe group, going on to say that Kalam had good relations with uh, Hindu spiritual gurus and therefore he was never considered to be a serious Muslim. I'm going to go straight across now to Pramod Mahadev. Pramod, uh, now which is this fringe group and uh, why are they you know, making all these statements against the late uh, president of India? Lamtika, it is a very unfortunate event that People's President Abdul Kalam has caught up in such a controversy because of one statue and placing a Bhagavad Gita in front of that statue in this Kalam memorial. Yesterday, Sheikh Salim Kalam's in the grand nephew tried to silence his controversy by placing a Bible and Quran, but unfortunately that became a trouble for him when another pro-Hindu group went ahead into this memorial and started protesting, claiming that by placing a Quran and Bible next to Mahabad, this Bhagavad Gita, they have tainted the purity of Bhagavad Gita. Sheikh Salim was very upset about it. Sheikh Salim clearly mentioned that Abdul Kalam was one person who did not worry about religion. In fact, he read all the books, including major important books, Tiruk Kural, Quran Anur and Bharatiya uh, poems and everything from Tamil mm. as well, and he gave important to every book he did not clarify it based on religion or any matter but apparently now what is happening is that this fringe Muslim group called as Tamil Nadu Dauhi Jamaat and its leader P. Janil Abdin he spoke in Salem and he is calling Abdul Kalam not even a Muslim and he says like Abdul Kalam was one person who even uh, respected idols unlike a Muslim and that's the reason they would not bother even if Bhagavad keeps us placed over, placed over there but if they keep a Quran they will protest against it Avantika. All right, just stay on with me, Pramod, and we have uh, a reaction of that Muslim cleric. Let's just play that out for our viewers. Abdul Kalam in our one day, our one day Muslim career. Tell you what's wrong. Our day, fair Abdul Kalam. Fair with our Muslim, ill. Allah, we master of Anandamanda Muslim. If you were careful at the airport, you were here, Abdul Kalam, Abdul Kalam in our Muslim of Allah will lay. Our Tane Muslim and the Solikunda the Mille, Janadi, our Munadi, not the Mokal Gaza, the part of the Wallachi, Abuna Pair, the paper, the Telepathy Lara, Janadi, within the Arabic, the Telepathy Munadi, in the Manus and Pair, the Telepathy Lara. Pramod, isn't it unfortunate that a memorial of uh, the late president, you know, in his memory has triggered such controversy, whether it is the placement of a Bhagavad Gita, and I believe that now a Quran and a Bible has also been placed next to his statue. Is that true? Because uh, this, he was one president who respected all religions. Well, that is true, Avantika. Yesterday, a Bible and Quran was placed next to this Bhagavad Gita. Uh, in a way, Sheikh Salim, the Grand Nebi, was the one who did it. And he then and there spoke that he did not want any controversies over the uh, people's president. That's why he did that. But unfortunately, after the, hu the huge uh, ruckus that occurred over there in the evening by pra Hindu Makal Kalsi, another pro Hindu group, they removed all the books and only this uh, statue of Bhagavad Gita that is en engraved in the particular statues placed over there because it mm -hmm. can't be removed. And uh, Jay Kumar, the finance minister, said that if there is any kind of like uh, hurtful feelings that is occurring from because of this matter, they will definitely uh, com uh, com communicate it to the center. But for now, no thing is occurring. But we have to also mention that inside the memorial, henceforth, no cell phones or video cameras are allowed. The DRDO has given new instructions and reporters also will be sent in only after a huge caution has been taken on. But the unfortunate event here is that P. Jain Laden, he's even claiming that who knew about Abdul Kalam before he became a president. That is very unfortunate. Abdul Kalam was a world-renowned scientist and he was called as a missile man of India and everybody knew about Abdul Kalam even before he became the president. Unfortunately, Tamil Nadu Dawi Jamaat had forgotten that uh, piece of information, Avantika. Sapriya Jilani also joins us for more on this. Uh, sir, one controversy after the other uh, because of the placing of a Bhagavad Gita next to the statue of the late president. Your reaction now, I mean, we are talking of the late president, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, a people's person, somebody who had immense uh, respect for all religions, all faiths across. These kind of activities, this... Uh, they have no connection with religion because the persons who object to it 
I don't know what type of man they are. Is there any real uh, religious leader objected to it? No. I think there no religious leader has objected to it. So these persons who have objected, whether they are themselves confident and they have a real study of religion, so these things are, have got no place in religion. Right. These are very minor things and uh, I don't think that uh, we should take notice of it. Oh, all right, well, thank you so much uh, for your uh, reactions. We leave it at that. Promo, thanks so much.